hey hi guys welcome to the channel so in this video i will be discussing about gramian angular field so we'll first see what exactly is gramian gramian angular field so let's start with the topic it is a technique to transform time series data transform time series data series data into images okay so this technique is specifically used to transform time series data into images okay now these images can be used these images can be used uh, to feed or feed in the neural networks in the neural networks that are specific specific for uh, for catching the patterns for catching or learning the patterns from images for example cnn that is convolution neural convolution neural network okay so what are time series data first so i'll just give you an idea what are time series data time series data so the data like stock prices day over day temperature changes so these are some example of time series data okay so now let's see why uh, why we want to convert why do we want to convert time series data into images convert time series data into images why do we want to convert so let's understand that <clears throat> so if you have seen time any time series data time series data are usually a list of number okay time series data are usually a list of numbers okay uh, for example if i say let's say we have d over d stock prices of a company this is d and this is stock price okay on day 1 on day 1 we have a stock price as this one on day 2 we have a stock price is 2 on day 3 we have stock price is 3 and so on so this is an example of your time series data okay so if you see stock prices are nothing but list of some random numbers okay and if if for these time series data we want to use some advanced neural networks uh, like convolution neural neural networks which are specifically designed for which are specifically designed for you know images uh, which need 2d uh, data uh, specifically designed for uh, images which are i mean two dimensional data or three dimensional data that is in image format okay so by converting the time series data into images you can easily take the advantage of the advantage of the powerfulness of uh, cnn which is specifically powerful when when we use image processing image related data for image processing okay in order to find the patterns and trends in the data okay so that is the reason we would sometime need to transform 
your time series data into images now so let's see how does exactly gaf work i mean angular field works how does gaf work okay and we will see one example how we convert a time series data or a list of numbers into images uh, image representable numbers that we will see further in this video so be patient with me so let's see so in gf the first step the first step is to scale the numbers okay scale or we can say normalize the numbers of time series the data of time series you can say the time series data data such that all the values of the series are between minus 1 and 1 okay all the numbers of the time series should be between minus 1 and 1 this is the first step we do now the second step is second step is we convert the normalized data that we have uh, got in step 1 we convert the normalized data data values to angles using arc cosine okay so this is simply arc cos of the normalized value of the normalized value and we calculate the angles this is your second step in calculating the gaf or converting the time series data into gramian angular field related matrix or you can say images okay so images are nothing but a matrix a matrix of numbers now in the third step we compute the gf matrix the third step we compute the gaf matrix okay now this gaf matrix is nothing but your image and images are matrix of numbers okay so how do we convert into matrix that we will see through an example okay so let's see an example uh, let me just let's say we have a time series we will consider a small time series data a list of number uh, and we will see an example so only small uh, set of data with uh, some two or three data points in a list and we will try to convert that in that particular series into gf matrix or uh, gf images okay so let's say we have a time series data that is 10 20 and let's say 15 we are considering only three data points now as per the steps the first step is to normalize the time series okay normalize the time series so in order to normalize the time series we use this formula that is two times of x minus min whole divided by max minus min minus 1 now you can ask me why are we using this formula so as mentioned above so in the GAF the first step is to normalize the data in order to get the data points in the in the range of minus 1 and 1 okay so if we use only x minus if we use only this part to normalize the data which we generally use 
at some for, with some data points okay so if we use only this formula to normalize the data the value for this formula comes in the range 0 to 1 okay the normalized value for this formula comes in this range but we want in the range of minus 1 to 1 that is the reason we have multiplied with 2 and subtracted 1 from here okay in this case if x minus x is minimum your minimum value x is minimum value in this case we will get uh, the first part will be 0 and this will be minus 1 so we will have value as minus 1 okay perfect so now let's normalize the data points that we have 10 20 and 15 using this formula so here we have mean value as 10 and the max value is 20 okay so the normalized value uh, you can do the calculation i will just pause the video and do the calculation and then come back all right guys so we have calculated the normalized value of the time series or the data points that we have so for the case when the data point is 10 the normalized value would be minus 1 when the data point is 20 the normalized value is 1 and when the data point is 15 the normalized value is 0 okay now we have normalized time series as normalized time series is minus 1 1 and 0 now after we have normalized the data points the next step was to convert the data points to angles okay now step 2 was convert data points that is the normalized data points to angles and for this what we we have done we have formula arc cos of normalized value so let's represent this ang angle by phi okay now let's calculate the angles for all the data points so for case of minus 1 we have arc cos of minus 1 which is equal to pi and this is approximately equal to 3.1416 okay for the case of 1 we have arc cos of 1 and the value for this is 0 <coughs> for the case of uh, 0 when the normalized value is 0 the angle would be here pi by 2 which is approximately equal to 1.57 okay 1.57 yeah somewhere around 1.57 08 i believe okay so now we have calculated the angles for all the normalized data points now we have angles with us now angles are pi 0 pi by 2 or we can also write it as 3.1416 0 0.1416, 0.1408 we have angles with us this now we compute the gaf matrix or also you can say the gaf images in terms of matrix numbers okay now the gaf is calculated by gaf matrix calculation this is given as g of i comma j is equal to cos of phi i plus phi j this is the formula to calculate gaf matrix okay so since we have three data points our gaf matrix would be of shape 3 cross 3 okay we will have a shape of 3 cross 3 matrix now let's see how we calculate i will just pause the video do the calculation and then come back okay all right guys so i have calculated the gf matrix but before showing that particular calculation i will show you i will uh, explain you what exactly does this g i comma j equal to cos of phi i plus phi j represents so these are the indicators 
indices of this mat matrix 3 cross 3 i and j so for ro row one e rows are i and the columns are your j okay so when i equal to 0 we are corresponding to row number 0 row number 1 and row number 2 or sorry row number the, when i equal to 1 we are repre representing to row number 1 then 2 and then 3 row number 3 i equal to 3 then row number 3 okay <coughs> similarly for j column number 1 2 and 3 now this phi of i is let's say we have we are for the case we are here at row number 1 okay so phi of 1 is nothing but if you see we have angles phi these are phi's okay so phi of 1 is our pi value phi of 2 is our 0 phi of 3 is our pi by 2 okay this represents the angles that we have calculated above so below is the calculation that you can pause the video and go through okay for row 1 we have i as 1 and the angle given is pi so if we calculate g of 1 comma 1 what would be the value at 1 comma 1 point we have one, we have got one at point one comma two at this location what should be what should be the gf value that is minus one we have calculated through angles and put it into the matrix now if we put this these values in the matrix we will have gf matrix as gaf matrix will be given as 1 minus 1 okay minus 1 0 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 1 0 and 0 0 minus 1 so this is your GAF matrix okay so this matrix actually represents a image it is a 2 D image of shape 3 cross 3 okay so in the next video of relate that is related to GAF I will show you in Python how you can calculate the GAF matrix and show it as an image in Python okay so that's it for this video guys I hope you have liked the video and uh, please follow or subscribe the channel so that you will get notification about my next video okay where you can watch the implementation of gf in python okay so that's all guys for this video thank you